Ok, non fare gli hangout, ok, eh, non fare tutte le world quest, ma le story quest vanno fatte. Publishing house in a while. Pino wonders if they have any new books in. The one we read with A that time was pretty cool. Come on, this is a no brainer, man. There's only one thing worth wishing for, and that is a ton of Mora. But the exam's next week. If I fail again, I'm seriously done for. I'll bet. What's the other thing? Wishing that my exam goes smoothly. So with co op, you can oh, go to places exam. you've never been. Trust me, there's no problem you can't solve by throwing Mora at it. No. If it doesn't work, no. then just keep throwing until uh, it does. Unless your uh, cop buddy is at a very low level like huh? you. Really? And maybe you the um, you your cop buddy unlocked some areas. Then maybe you can visit here, her, or uh, 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 you can visit the, the other, you know, the, the other person world and try to do something because what you do in the in one other person world doesn't affect your your, uh, um, your world unless you do the the daily quest but mainly no because uh, there is a system which is called uh, world level um, and this system basically means that yeah, i can travel to your world and do stuff but you cannot travel to my world because my world is too mm, too much higher level for you uh, and also i have unlocked stuff that you did you did not unlock it so this is why it's a bit uh, complicated but don't worry because if if you keep playing eventually you will arrive to world level seven eight which is mine so don't worry looks like you guys really aren't in the loop this my friends is the next big thing a highly effective wish ritual guaranteed to make your wishes come true ah beh si può usare anche sui personaggi that actually works right even Pina knows that's just not how the world works <laughs> I didn't believe it at first either but that changed when it worked for someone I know it's this guy called Kunihiko He's practically always been unemployed, wastes his days away, and he owes a lot of money. Like, a lot. But get this. I don't see him for a few days, and suddenly I find him dressed to the nines and feasting at a high-class restaurant. So, ma questo qua è investito in un, uno schema piramidale, ha fatto un paio di soldi. And the next day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with Mora. Uh, his whole bed was filled with... Maybe we can do that without the, the Sakura. We can do only, you know, the characters in your uh, area of monster, so... Of course, I'm sure the part about waking up lying on a bed of Mora is a bit of an exaggeration. Also, I, I guess, you know, when, when you're exactly playing in co-op, it's better it to, to use the, try, um, right? the photo mode. If you're still because you can, you know, just you can place your character there far away so you can stories going around do these more, days. Uh, a more far away Let's shot. The Great Narukami Offering, okay. But Sakura was important. I know, but... You, you need to level up your world first and it takes a while to do it, so... Better to take a shot without the Sakura than to, than to not take a shot at all, so... On closer inspection, it seems like there really are a lot of people talking about this kind of stuff. Hey, see those two? Pyma remembers them from the AI publishing house. One's an editor and the other's an author. <clears throat> okay. Just thought in mind, clear like, uh, clear like the light of the moon. As close as kin with you. No, thou. Wait, thee? Uh, hear my summons, right? No, no, it's not hear my summons, it's heed my summons. Heed. 
<sighs> You're never going to get it down at this rate. <laughs> Stavo morendo di infarto questo. Are you guys trying out this new wishing ritual stuff too? Junkichi is trying it out to be specific. He's hit a bit of a creativity block recently, so I'm helping him make a wish so that he can move past it. I mean, I obviously don't. But Junkichi never listens to an outside opinion, so all I can do is go along with it. Mr. Shigeru, can you please be a little more accommodating? Che poi fa ridere sta cosa perché vanno un sacco di moda questi wishing ritual, dove la gente si mette in posizioni strane per fare le proprie pull. Che ovviamente non serve a nulla, però dato che la gente esce pazza, ci credono in tanti e ogni volta fa abbastanza ridere. Anyway, I just know this is going to work. Mi manco alquanto indifferente a questa cosa, ma vabbè. Didn't you say the same thing when you went to make your wish at the Grand Narukami Shrine? Oh, I just know this is gonna work. I have a gut feeling about it. The Omamori from the shrine take too long to have any effect on your luck. All right, enough of that. Help me get this incantation down. My new book depends on it. Look, to be completely honest, I think you need to sit down and have a good think about what kind of story you want to write. Where's all that self-confidence you had when you first started out? Riferimenti all'autore di Attack on Titan, almeno nel mio caso io li vedo, ma vabbè, andiamo oltre. Poi vabbè, anche è giusto che un autore autore cambi il modo di fare e la sua percezione della storia tutto il resto, ma vabbè, questi sono temi esterni. Davvero, dato che si parla di gente che scrive, insomma. No, è molto probabilmente un titolo di pubblicità. It just appeared out of nowhere and took Inazuma by storm. As a fellow writer, I'll refrain from passing comment on how well the story is written, but everyone is saying the wishing incantations it contains are the real deal. Look, Junkichi. Yes, everyone's saying it's real, it works, but that's only half the story. I've also heard lots of people saying that everyone who's had their wish granted using this method starts behaving strange. Also, Bea, as you can see, this is a very nice place with the pink tree and the pink, you know, petals too. But you have a lock in Azuma, so... Why don't we go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and ask Yaimiko about it? She's the expert when it comes to both light novels and the supernatural. Rasp the thought in mind. Clear like the light of the moon. Allora mi era non fa non fa più solo di cicap. How does it come about? Man, no man. Shunkichi, just give it up. Do you really think someone's going to just descend from the heavens and write your novel for you? I can't believe I'm saying this to a writer, but you need to learn to separate fact from fiction. Ok, questa qui va bene. Evito di commentare. Mr. Shigeru, please. I'd appreciate it if you stopped trying to tear my dreams to smithereens. I am in great distress and desperately need to make a breakthrough. <laughs> okay. Don't cry, Bea, don't cry. <clears throat> tu, 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 tu. Well, hello there, young ones. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. Oh? Well, what did you want to ask? Well, we were just... Uh, actually, you were kind of busy. Is this a bad time? <laughs> no, not at all. It's nothing major. Comunque è divertente che la gente riesce sempre a fare tutte queste robe. I'm begging you, you've got to help me save my brother. It really is nothing major. I stand by that. Oh, but since you're so curious, let's have him relate the story one more time, just for you. You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji. I please put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Here's what happened. My name is Kato Yohei, and my brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a swordmaster, 
So he once asked Sensei Domon of the Make Yoshi Sui art to take him on as a disciple. <coughs> Domon turned him away. Took one look at him and said he didn't have what it <laughs> takes <laughs> to train <laughs> <him> <laughs> out of the sword. Well, wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's sì, best disciples sta parlando. in a duel recently. Cioè, la, la but bocca since non his si victory, muove. he's been acting extremely strange. It's like he's become a completely different person. The doctors can't find anything wrong with him, so I'm betting it must be the work of an evil spirit. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. <laughs> you know, Appena metteranno l'italiano, mi butto nell'archivio, andando a trovarlo, mi rilego tutta la roba. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving to for as long as he can remember, and now it's gone. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost when he's trying to find a new direction. But if it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. Leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. I guarantee you, he's not acting like someone who feels empty and lost. Oh, all right, all right. Che poi forse sai cosa dovrebbero, secondo me, la cosa che si può tradurre meglio, sono le descrizioni degli degli artefatti e di vari oggetti. Quelle sì, ma per quanto riguarda le le descrizioni dei personaggi, le loro storie, dialoghi. Quello mi sembra abbastanza semplice da capire. Just like Domon, we can't jeopardize that dream now. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Hmm? Whatever. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? If so, I'd love to hear about them. What? Rumors? I don't know how many words in English. Ah, ecco. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. Eh, ma guarda, la Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. Uh, this is someone's life we're talking about. Please, 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 perché io guardo di continuo serie tv, film, programmi in inglese, quindi... Cioè io penso che io mi guardo molte volte un programma americano di HBO che tratta di politica, problemi sociali, cose di questo tipo relative al mondo americano. E io me lo vedo senza alcun sottotitolo. E lo capisco senza alcun tipo di problema. Perché ormai mi sono abituato a. ad ascoltare. E quindi ormai le parole le capisco. Magari non so tutti i significati. Però ormai le conosco. E riesco a capire il contenuto di una frase analizzandolo tutto il resto. Eh, poi vabbè, a parlarlo come puoi ben sentire ogni tanto è difficile. Perché parlarlo ci devi proprio mettere e le richiede tanto lavoro. Thank you too for your Però a capirlo non ci vuole Please tanto impegno. Me. Basta avere tanta costanza. We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists. <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. Mumbo jumbo. <laughs> It's a common mumbo trope jumbo. in novels, right? You just have to have a bit of bravado. As soon as the protagonist gains self-confidence, everything else just magically falls into place. Well, you were the ones who seemed concerned about his situation. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? <laughs> Besides, we both know you wouldn't be here at the Grand Narukami Shrine unless you had a request for me too. This is an opportunity to demonstrate that you come in good faith. <sighs> We have a point, so... All right, let's go. Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. Okay. What is going on here? Granted, you can never be a good kid. Yeah, no, yeah, no, frega niente degli umani. E ora l'hai capito? Da una vita funziona così. Cioè, ma non direi che non gliene frega nulla. Uh, no, 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 è giusto. 
però non direi che non gliene frega nulla diciamo che lei sa che le vicende umane sono insomma roba di poco conto ecco e quindi è un po' inutile preoccuparsene e lei per lo più si interessa a robe più insomma legate alla, ai romanzi queste cose qui graphic novel queste cose qua e poi dato che viene venerata come so, una sorta di eh, figura religiosa non so, neanche, insomma sta lì in un, uh, al, gran, al tempio diciamo che nonostante è vicina ai problemi de, de, delle persone è comunque un pochino distaccata no? cioè non è allo stesso livello di una Ganyu per esempio Ganyu lei fa la segretaria lì quindi qualsiasi cosa deve passare dalle sue mani no? quindi però è, è ci sta perché è un personaggio che non si prende cioè, è un personaggio che non si prende proprio per niente sul serio. Quindi, eh, cioè, è abbastanza divertente come cosa. Hmm. How strange. My brother's been meditating here pretty much constantly over the past few days, but now he's gone. Ma poi sono molto a, a mio modo di vedere sono molto meglio questi personaggi che quelli che oh mio yeah, dio facciamo i Vola basso, cioè non c'è bisogno di alone, yeah, Come lo stesso Aratakito. Right o oh, che ne so, Venti o oh, Kaeya mm, o anche Diluc eh, in un certo brother, senso Jin well, si prende troppo sul serio ma Jin è una, in una posizione in cui là essenzialmente non c'è un cazzo di governo a mostra, cioè ognuno fa il cazzo che gli pare quindi dato che te a comandare l'unica specie di polizia che c'è eh, o gente che devono far rispettare le leggi un po' come si dice devi essere un po' severo quindi Amber la sua stupidità ma Amber direi che quel tipo di personaggio è molto easy peasy cioè molto tranquillo quindi questo li facciamo ma sì, ma perché alcuni personaggi devono farli per forza così Se no la gente dice, eh ma è tutto scuro qua Nessuno che sorride Li capisco un po' eh. Tipo, se ti vai a giocare on Kai Là ogni 2 per 3 di trama c'è gente che sta lì a morire cioè, Almeno così mi è sembrato di vedere negli ultimi 3-4 mesi che ci sto giocando però poi magari ti vedi i PG e i PG sono uno più tranquillo e stupido dell'altro, quindi c'è. Hello, sir. We'd like to ask you about the Kato brothers. Oh, are you debt collectors? Yohei said to tell you not to worry. He'll be able to pay you back as soon as he has enrolled a few disciples. Lui è, è sempre quel doppiatore del... Uh, Com'è che si chiama il personaggio? Il protagonista di Deus Ex Mankind Divided e Human Revolution. Cioè, il doppiatore è lui. Aveva già fatto un personaggio nella storia di questi Rider e ora ritorna qui con Nobuo. Uh -huh. no, no, e poi se non ti vedo tutti i PG Pyro, sono, tutti sono felici, uh -huh. guarda Diluc. Ma guarda Diluc ha un passato bello intrigante. Non so se hai letto il manga, well, ma yes. insomma... I don't think che poi di Diluc... Praticamente è l'unico personaggio che, non so se hai visto le delusion, insomma quelle, quelle visioni finte che venivano utilizzate in Azuma, ce n'è una child, ne avevamo una signora, cioè di Luke che è l'unico personaggio in tutto il mondo di Genshin che ha utilizzato una delusion senza soffrire di alcun male. Per questo motivo dicono Wow, questo personaggio è stra mega potente O meglio Ha una, una forza vitale Talmente forte che non... eh, Insomma Sa gestire anche questo genere di cose Ed è abbastanza interessante come cosa Oh, 
Oh, how interesting. We heard a slightly different version. My brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. <laughs> <laughs> Yohei said that? That Shingo trained hard. Ha fatto l'imitazione, ha fatto. He just lay there cussing to high heaven all day every day. Some training regimen that is. Yohei did tell me about Shingo winning the fight, but I took it with a grain of salt. You can ask Kenji at the village entrance more about that. He always has Però devo, devono information. sistemare questa cosa del labiale, perché vedere il personaggio che parla e la voce, il personaggio che cioè il doppiatore che sta parlando e il PG che non muove le labbra dà un pochino fastidio. Cioè non ha molto senso. Questa cosa l'avevano corretta nel um, negli hangout event, perché lì proprio non la puoi evitare. Cioè lì c'hai la telecamera fissata su un unico personaggio. Se quel personaggio smette di muovere la labbra non ha alcun senso. Mentre invece immagino che qua... Hey there, non, non gli, forse non gli interessa più di tanto. Però immagino che evidentemente... Yeah, in cinese occupano meno tempo a dire le cose di quanto noi ci mettiamo in inglese. Yes, probabilmente. Forse perché magari in cinese per spiegare una roba ci mettono meno parole e noi invece di più... Oh, io non so come funziona il cinese, eh, ti parlo da persona che non lo conosce, quindi mesmerizing to watch. Anche se prima o poi penso che comincerò a imparare un, almeno un minimo di giapponese. Perché ormai, a quanto ho capito, cioè, se segui come questi, questi interessi, tipo videogiochi e altro, ci sono due lingue principali. L'inglese e il giapponese, per gli anime. Quindi, altro non ci interessa. Anche se un pochino di giapponese ormai lo so, ma una cosa è saperlo per parole famose, un altro è saperlo parlare come... Eh, so parlare quel minimo di inglese. Non solo questo, ma ha riuscito a fare un lavender melon tree con solo un kick! Oh. Hmm, quite impressive. Things got weird after that, though. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, What is that stuff? Keep that away from me! And then ran off. Lady Guji, esteemed exorcists, finally I found you. I found my brother, he's at the waterfall. And I've got the salt you asked for too. Come on, let's go. Oh, as much as I'd prefer to stay and hear some more delicious details, I suppose we'd better be going now that he has been found. Io guardo sempre anime giapponesi con sottotitoli italiani e su Genji e PG che parlano sempre in giapponese con i sottotitoli in inglese che poi metterò in italiano. Dovresti guardarli con i sottotitoli in inglese. Vabbè che in quel caso non ti aiuta a per quanto riguarda la lingua, però io per esempio mi guardo l'attacco dei giganti in, in giapponese ovviamente e con i sottotitoli in inglese. Vuoi perché il... Um, Perché essenzialmente non, ci, non sono sempre disponibili i sottotitoli in italiano appena è uscito l'episodio, quindi in ogni caso devo aspettare. E dato che non mi va di aspettare, preferisco guardarli in quel modo. Allora, aspetta. Eh, vabbè, è già morto. È già morto, mannaggia. Allora, proviamo a rifare, eh, però qua mi, mi servirà un bel po' di... Dai, fallo un attacco con crit, dai. Let's light it up. 
Manca poco. Ok. 36.000. Bah, aspettavo un po' meglio. Non credo che quelle cose non si dovrebbero usare, ma io le uso lo stesso. Mm. Ah, guarda, io non mi riferisco a robe illegali, eh. Dico che semplicemente quando trovi l'episodio che è stato caricato su diverse piattaforme, solitamente i primi sottotitoli che appaiono sono quelli in inglese, perché da noi in Italia o arrivano in ritardo o altro. Uh, tipo ti faccio un esempio molto lampante uh, la prima parte della st quarta stagione di Attack on Titan arrivava in Italia uh, su vid vvv come cazzo si pronuncia e su prime video l'unico problema è che su vid arrivava il martedì mattina uh, e la release ufficiale in inglese era domenica sera alle 22. Quindi c'era un ritardo di quasi due giorni interi. E su Prime Video arriva, mi pare che arrivava o la sera del lunedì o direttamente la mattina del martedì nello stesso orario di vid. Di vid. Quindi è, non è che stiamo parlando di torrent e altre cose, cioè proprio c'era un ritardo che non, non ho ben capito a che cazzo era dovuto che però venivano pubblicati con uno o due giorni di distanza, questo secondo me perché evidentemente avevano preso degli altri tipi di diritti e quindi insomma funzionava così allora in quel caso che facevi? Non te lo vedevi l'episodio che era disponibile? Certo che me lo vedevo, ma lo vedevo su un'altra piattaforma che magari offriva lo stesso servizio ma senza i sottotitoli in italiano, capito? Allora in quel caso lo, 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 lo facevo, ma anche quando per esempio, ti faccio un altro esempio, io ti ho detto che mi guardo questo programma che tratta di politica, temi sociali e altre cose, questo programma non è sottotitolato in italiano. Non esiste, cioè non, viene, non viene trasmesso in Italia da nessun, eh, nessun network, nessuna piattaforma, zero. Eh, io sai dove lo vedo? Su YouTube, perché su YouTube pubblicano delle clip di questo show e me le guardo da lì. Stessa cosa per altri programmi americani, tipo che ne so, il Saturday Night Live. Eh, quello è un programma comico che fanno, non so, ogni tanto, però lo fanno tipo ogni sabato sera in America. E nella mattinata di domenica o nel pomeriggio caricano le clip su YouTube. Questo programma lo facevano anche in Italia, ma arrivava a distanza di settimane o mesi, che un, un, uno sketch com comico che aveva senso farlo un mese e mezzo prima, non aveva più senso farlo, farlo vedere un mese e mezzo dopo. Ma certo, sì, ti faceva comunque ridere. Però, capito, cioè, la differenza nella pubblicazione, cioè, l'attesa più che altro, eh, diventava troppo. Ok, dove cazzo look, dobbiamo andare? Look over there. That's him at the waterfall. So this is Yohei's brother. Allora, forse è morta Raiden. Forse è morta Raiden. That's pretty wild. Secondo me è morta. Listen. He's talking to himself. Secondo me gli fa male lo stomaco questo qua, altro che parlare. <ride> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? Uh... Can you feel... The feeling... Of manliness? Found your own What? school? <laughs> so shallow. How can a manly man... Aspire to something... So... Lame! Please, spare me, spare me. I, I can't feel the manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. I, I can't take any more. I'm gonna die. Yohei, Yohei, save me, save me. Did you hear that? Well, the nonsense aside, he's going for help. Huh? Who? 
Who goes there? Dai, tu dobbiamo fare una boss fight. Ma ogni volta che lei si mette tipo così, no. ci scatta no, la boss fight. Cosa Miku, Miku, Oh, poor thing. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I... Well, how should I know? <laughs> the way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You don't know? But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Uh, allora, sta questo sembra un episodio di Dottor House. Cioè, praticamente cosa succede nell'episodio di Dottor House? Eh, che un paziente sta male, ovviamente. E il team del Dottor House va a chiedere ai familiari, amici, parenti e tutto il resto. E fanno avanti e indietro tra diagnosi per un'ora. Fino a quando poi non si scopre che uno di questi amici parenti non gli ha detto un dettaglio inutile, ma coloro con quel dettaglio inutile vanno a curare il paziente. Ha la stessa identica cosa, cioè Genshin è diventato Dottor House. Fantastico. Uh, Guarda, ma um, che, che sguardo. Um, uh, uh, um your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. Non so se hai mai visto Dr. House, te lo consiglio. Almeno fino alla quinta stagione. Le altre non sono un gran Anche se è un bel finale. But I As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. Ulla miseria. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, oh, you, you like it, man. It Good. As I was saying, the the quest looks a bit like a a, um, uh, a usual episode of Doctor House, where basically there is a patient, which is obviously healed, uh, and uh, the team of the Doctor House needs to heal this patient. And they will go ask his, uh, the relatives of the patient, you know, the friends, families, and etc. And they will go around uh, trying the uh, various type of medicines and diagnosis stuff, you know, for about an hour. At the end of the episode, uh, the team of the, the doctor, the other doctor, find, find out about one tiny little detail that was almost useless. And with that tiny little detail, they will ma they will manage to um, uh, heal the, the patient and get him uh, get him or air back home. So this is what what is happening here. We're trying to save his brother, but uh, he, he is not telling us the whole truth. So we will need to find out what happens. All right, I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. We made a wish. Yes, yes, that's it. The one that's all the rage right now. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight and your wish will be granted. Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, said the Told incantation, you. and lo and behold, Tiny little spheres detail. of light appeared <laughs> all around but, us. Oh, oh. After my Even, you know, if in his the structure of the really episode worked. is really nowhere, uh, something that you can, you, you know but already, the, the story is always too. good. So the acting is very good, uh, uh, the directing too, so it's a very good TV series. Up until the season 5. From season 6 to 8, they're kinda garbage. Especially when they have the, they decided to ditch the original cast of the the show to try new characters, but every once in a while those characters move away. Or okay, let's let's kill this character for random reasons. Um, okay, I don't like how the the TV series got. Even when the uh, the love interest of the Doctor House move away from the series too, so. 
that was very a poor, poor choice from the uh, I was worried story that if he goes back to normal, he'll lose his skills with the sword. If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a martial arts school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and paid off our debts. <clears throat> so then, why'd you go to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Well, because with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading spreading that he's gotten involved in the Just occult pe. arts or something, and then no fa. one would want to sign up as his disciple. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Guji might have a way to get my brother back to normal, but let him keep his sword skills? My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Stop <laughs> deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. You're right. You're right. We were wrong to do what we did. We had this coming. All right, then. Your turn now, my little friend. Toss the salt and then draw your sword. Ooh. Sì, ma non l'ha nemmeno tirata fuori la spada. Eh la ma dai, è, è morto, non l'ha nemmeno toccata, è morto. Uh. It's the spirit. See that? That's what you summoned. And look, now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. Cioè, proprio a lei non gliene frega niente. Svenuto? We do nothing. But you, little one, just a quick fight and this will all be over. Ah, cioè, noi non facciamo niente. Tu, nel senso, io il personaggio, fai tutto tu. Io sto qua a guardare, me ne frega niente. Come on, fight me! He's coming! Be careful! Ok, ci fai provare gli A, eh? L'ho detto che era morta Raiden ed è morta. L'ho detto che era morta. Aia. <laughs> that was great! Excellent! Woo! What a rush! Orribile, Madonna. I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. He disappeared! But he looked pretty content at the end there. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? Ah, uh, we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you all right? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that I was Tra l'altro lui ha lo stesso modello del quell'altro Tizioni di della storia di questi Aratakit, ma vabbè. But then I realized Prima o poi dovranno inventarsi dei modelli nuovi dei personaggi. E c'è questa voce nel mio orecchio e stavo sentendo qualcosa che then the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue too. Thank you, Lady Guji, and thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember, this is the price you pay. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. But I think you get the picture now, don't you? Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. 
Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, exorcists. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. Insomma, comunque una questa abbastanza tranquilla, cioè niente di che. Mi aspettavo qualcosa di più. Oh, they would have been fine. I had to scare them a little though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Chingo? You saw it all for yourselves. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? Uh... Che cosa significa? Ma quello non, non sembra tofu. Correct. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't have any ill intentions. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Chingo to become bolder. Huh. Fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Chingo's body. Then you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. Okay. Even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. Vabbè, magari dirle course, prima ste cose, no, eh? It would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. All right, seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Pure i lupi ci sono. Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book? Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Incantations seem really popular right now. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. That's not the point. The problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff. And loads of people are trying it. Oh, even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. But who wrote this book? And why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? No. What do you think, traveler? Yeah. You no, non sure volevo prendere quel, vabbè. Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda, what are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please take a look. Let me see. What? Oh no. You're losing market share? <laughs> yes. Overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. Questi sono guai seri. It's called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Both of you, back here now. Nico? What is it? Dato che adesso gli urtano un po' i soldini, eh beh. Things just got serious. A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits is an all-round hit. Summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Vedi perché mi piacciono questi personaggi? Ma perché la prima no, che ci frega? Noi abbiamo più spiriti così, non ce ne fregano. Però se mi freghi i soldi, eh no. Tu devi finire. Non possono esistere queste cose. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counter plan. And you are going to help me. Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? 
Eh, but. Am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Ooh. Pure lei lo stava guardando male. Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. Mm. I'm going to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. Eh, guerra letteraria si intende, ovviamente. Amicizia nella scrittura, ok. Ok, scendiamo giù. Why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Eh, fin qua c'era già capito. Oh, Paimon knows! Combine the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! No. Oh, wow! Your first guess and you got it absolutely... wrong. <laughs> <ride> ok, questa, questa me la devo salvare assolutissimamente. <ride> eh? yeah! oh, vabbè. Ma poi come l'ha guardata anche lei? Il hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, Beh, ha ragione anche lei, eh, ha ragione further. anche lei. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh, how about we confiscate all the copies? <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, Going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. Mm. But that means there's nothing we can do. Beh, no, potrebbe well, fare un nuovo libro. I've been thinking. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. It has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm. I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next next big thing. So what Questo è quello che fa la Marvel essenzialmente. Come fai a fare film migliori, fai film ancora più migliori. Guarda Avengers Infinity War, guarda Avengers Endgame. Eternals non fa parte di questo discorso. Così come Black Widow. Wait, Miko. So you want us to write a novel? Well, Becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process, but let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. Oh, dai, sono due film belli. I did say this is what we are going to do. Pieni di personaggi unici. Nel modo sbagliato, però. Oh, mamma mia. Anyway, ti, ti giuro, c'era talmente tanto di quel live per Eternals, un film... Blah. 90% di quel film è noia. Pura, pura noia. Black Widow invece secondo me è uscito troppo tardi. Cioè... È uno di quei film che se era uscito prima di, di Avengers Endgame tu dici te lo vedevi tranquille, ok. E magari speravi, oh chissà quando torna la sorella, quando la rivedremo e tutto il resto. Cioè, nel senso, è un bel personaggio, però capisci? Cioè, me lo fai uscire quando il PG principale è morto. 
Ok, non è che non, non si possono utilizzare le storie su PG Morse, però capisci? Non è, la gente non si appassiona a chi è già morto. La gente, la ge cioè, chi segue i film della Marvel come me vuole vedere più storie su X personaggi che possibilmente sono vivi. Se no, come fai a farci storie? Cioè... The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artist you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. The illustrations in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits <coughs> are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. Okay. Eh, dobbiamo chiedere ad altre persone. The Yai Publishing House has held many writer submission events to date. The winner gets a huge amount of publicity. It's been the ticket to fame for a lot of authors. If you've got a good idea for a story, you definitely don't want to miss out. Uh, lei non fa testo. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. These days though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time I can guess what the story is about just from the title. Mm. Stavo parlando del Dottor House prima di questo. Anzi no, The Walking Dead. Tu, tu sai già come andrà a finire la trama perché fa schifo. Non è una light novel, ma possiamo farci un paragone. A first hand guide to summoning spirits. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. Ok. Aspetta, andiamo. Prendiamo sto coso che mi dà un pochino fastidio vederlo. E... No, non ci fa parlare con, con questo, non parlare. I'll be honest. I read light novels for the cheap thrills. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss and ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything. It's just a little slow paced for me. By contrast, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, where the protagonist is super strong right from the get-go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action packed right from page one. Attack on Titan. The protagonist okay. is a Kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. Okay. There's much more to light novels than Paimon realized! <sighs> Let's go tell our findings to Yai Miko! Quindi mi sa che adesso dobbiamo creare una storia che abbia questi tre elementi: azione, eh, una buona arte e con un mondo eh, fatto bene, cioè un mondo fantasy fatto bene. Perché devo andare in un ristorante a finire la light novel? Oh, vabbè. Ah, there you are. Let me introduce the team. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Shigeru is an experienced editor and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. Mm. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Okay. Uh -huh. It definitely makes sense! <laughs> Now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, 
Even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. I followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Mm, okay. Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune. But to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. Mm. As a traveler... There must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. Okay. Te oh, right. con la testa. So maybe? maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Monsta and Lyra. Hmm. But that would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that going to be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. Okay. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. Quindi noi dobbiamo semplicemente decidere le parti interessanti. Uh, what do you think? Uh... Airborne Emergency Rations mm. Faccio, Io direi la prima perché immagino che sia il prologo questo The Workshire Bard e 20 The Dragon and the Grand Adventure Questo è Dvalin Ma io direi la prima No, no one would ever go for that No matter how you tried to play it Ah, fantastico hmm. Out of a maximum of 10 points I'd give that a 9 Mmm is there really flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? <laughs> okay, okay. Questa la sorpresa. It's a strong opening. An easy way to grab the reader's attention. Never underestimate the appeal of culinary-oriented subject matter. Food, after all, is a topic that everyone is interested in. Hey! <laughs> mm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. Ah no, vedi che cioè, cioè, cioè la prendono per il culo la povera Paimon di, di continuo, eh. Are able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Capitolo 2. Huh? Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Giusto. Hurry, Qu questo, è giustissimo. Let's go. questo è giustissimo. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Hmm? What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. Before it came to what? What's happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. Oh, it's your no. arch nemesis block for life. Blocco del, dello scrittore. Appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. So when this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Ah, beh, that's right. Obviamente paga lei. Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course, everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. All right, cool. Then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now. For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! 
<ride> oh, oh, does this mean your inspirations come back? Ok, allora, uh, Rock and Roll Gear, I turn into a JV Shop Hatchling. No, Rex Lapis, assolutamente, assolutamente. Let's see now. The protagonist arrives in Lua and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. Only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. With the help of the Chishing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> is that the Bella kind of cheap that that guy was talking about? Hmm. I give it a 9.8. Okay, I like it. The story is fun eh? and action-packed with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. Okay. Uh, well, let's just hope Zhang Li doesn't mind. Great. Well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Okay. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Uh... Mm. Stuff this, come on, let's get rid of the, uh, this Vision Hunt Decree. Mm. Eh, non lo so qua. Vediamo questo. When the Vision Hunt Decree comes out of nowhere, the protagonist joins the resistance, starting out as an ordinary rank and file soldier. Find out how the protagonist goes on to make great contributions to the war effort, become best friends with the resistance general, and get to know the Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine, working together with everyone to finally secure a grand victory for the resistance. Hmm. Well, well, it's surprisingly normal. I think it's rather good. A lot of people still like the classic hero's journey. From ordinary soldier to great leader, a fresh take on a timeless classic. One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the omamori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. Ooh. That should do the trick. Oh. So we're really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Allora, ripensando ci ha fatto le due prime scelte e una terza scelta. Va bene. incantation mm. myself. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. I she bet. runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely La signorina Hina, per chi non la conosce, è una... Um, è una caricatura di, del coso, la comica, di Goro. Ma non ditelo in giro, che sennò il povero Ratakitu ci rimane male. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. Ok. Ah, possiamo parlare? Mm, let me think. What spell does Lady Kitsune teach to the protagonist? No, c'è una voice line di Aratakit che dice Eh, non vedo l'ora di vederla E poi vai a scoprire che in realtà non è, non è un personaggio che esiste Ok, questo vende qualcosa? Uh... Ok 
Ok, ci sono alcuni ristoranti che a Liu ti danno delle ricompense se ci parli con loro? Questo evidentemente no. Uh, la miseria. Questa sì che era una tavola imbandita, eh. Ok, possiamo uscire, credo. Uh, andiamo agli iPublishing House. Tu, tu, tu. Oh, okay. Comunque, tutto sommato, finora la quest è abbastanza divertente da fare, dai. Mi, mi aspettavo... Evidentemente hanno fatto così, hanno fatto tipo una quest molto seria, quella di Raiden. E una molto più divertente con gli AI. Miss Hina doesn't usually do endorsements. But, since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. But, Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters and turns down every ah, promotion. Ah, ah, she can. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. We'll do our best. Okay. Tra l'altro, non c'era un'immagine della signorina qua. Uh... Doveva esserci un'immagine, credo. Vabbè. Ok, possiamo andare a metterci la, la storia. L'hanno tolta. Ah, ecco, perché c'è, mi ricordo che c'era, l'ho vista. What a strange pen name. Definitely you're doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. What do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? Yeah, we'll get this printed as a matter of priority and conduct trial sales and pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Okay. Uh oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? That's right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck. Non dimmi che ora dobbiamo aspettare veramente tre giorni. Oh mio dio. Wait for three days. Oh santa pazienza. Letteralmente. Ok, quindi aspettiamo. Ok, però questo va avanti solamente di due giorni. Quindi uno e due. E aspettiamo. Che poi perché solo... Cioè, se, tre giorni... Potevano fare due giorni, almeno così ti facevi solo una volta, vabbè. Un, be un bel time lapse per, per, per Genshin. Uh, ok, vediamo se si è aggiornata la quest. Ah no, è cambiato. Ah, quindi non sono tre giorni effettivi, ok. Forse perché doveva finire la giornata dato che era sera? Good news everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Woohoo! That's great! This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. I have free copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. Oh yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! Hmm... We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. 
How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Vero? Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true! Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. <laughs> no one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of mora and got it, but then one night it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone Insomma, praticamente hanno scoperto che il libro di prima causa effetti collaterali, quindi si sono spostati al libro creato da noi. Well, I better go and prepare too. Well, feeling less worried now? Wow, you're right! Everyone's shifting focus! But what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. <laughs> this is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Vero? Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. Also, we still need to figure out what his motive for writing it was. Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. But when okay. we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. Yes, this is another case of possession. Ah, but only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. After that, he lost consciousness. Quindi praticamente uno spirito ha preso il controllo dell'autore dell'altro libro e... Right? So, what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. Ooh. <laughs> Anche questa molto di carina. Ah, vediamo il libro, vediamo il libro. Uh, dov'è, dov'è, dov'è? Uh... Ok. Dove cavolo dobbiamo andare? Oddio, non dobbiamo farci il giro, no. Poi ci dovrebbe essere un gattino, credo. Non c'è il gattino di sera. Oh, eccola qua, è amico. Facciamo una bella foto. Ormai, ormai è un classico farsi la foto col PG 5 stelle dopo che l'hai preso. Cioè... Aspetta. Ah, ecco qua. Nico, what is this place? 
The ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so eerie here. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Paimon's heart is pounding, but Paimon's pretty sure it's not because... No, no, è, è una cosa che faccio da una vita. Quando ho preso <laughs> Albedo... Come on, here we go. Un anno e passa fa, ormai era dicembre del 2020, c'era... Si poteva parlarci nell'evento del... Um, di Mostad, da Dragon Spine. Da lì in poi ogni volta che becco un PG eh, 5 stelle che ho nel... che posso mettere nel party ci faccio sempre una foto tra i due. Anche per, insomma, è giusto anche per simboleggiare il fatto che l'hai preso. Quindi essenzialmente non puoi... normalmente non potresti vedere due personaggi uguali, capito? Ok, allora, qua cambiamo, qua cambiamo, ci mettiamo... Lui, va. E ci teniamo loro. Parti, re, allora, Recondeve Element Electro, sì, direi che va bene. Allora, mi ricorda un po' il domain di Aratakito. What a weird painting. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Interessante. Hmm. Probably a stesso parte che userò anch'io. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Hmm. Looks like the artist signed their name. Um, Rakusai? Ah, adesso vedrei cosa succede dopo. Ok. Ah, io... C'è già la musichetta da battaglia, quindi... Allora, aspetta. Everybody Ok. Dai, niente male, niente male, dai. Grazie della chest. Dico solo che una cosa l'hanno aggiunta per la prima volta su Genshin e un'altra è molto interessante. Mm. Wow. Non crearmi hype. Hey, is that a mirror? There's a really weird looking stool as well. Wonder what it's for. Ah, I see. Huh. This setup is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. All right, go and take a look around. There should be a mechanism somewhere that makes the whole room move. Aspetta un attimo. Eh, ma non posso far usare la foto mod, mannaggia. Lo specchio lì è nuovo. Eh sì, me ne sono reso conto, però peccato perché non si può utilizzare la, la foto mod. Uh... Aspetta. Shine down. Ah, e adesso? Ok, qua ce n'è un altro. Allora, fammi curare un pochino Benny. Carica, carica, carica. Emerge. Right now. I'm all 
5.000 eh beh pochino ok e ora saliamo su sì Ok. Aspetta, qua che cosa c'è? Ah, altri nemici. Huh? Purtroppo la mia render aveva solo 27 critici di avventura di crit damage appena l'avrò. Ma sì, eh, ci devi lavorare su col personaggio, eh. Non è che puoi pretendere che subito faccia. sia messa così bene. La mia non, è, non lo era. Quindi. Vai tranquillo. Uh, aspetta, ritorniamo qua. Ah, ecco, lì c'è una bella chest, c'è. Come ci arriviamo là? Altri nemici. Ecco qua, semplice, semplice. Aspetta, curiamo lui, va? Ma non è qui la chest, però. Uh, dove diamo in è? Qua? Yes! Mm, e adesso? Ok. Guarda, guarda la telecamera come si muove okay. per introdurre un Next po' di drammaticità. Medium, easily drawn to it. Come on, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. Ok, quindi adesso lo spirito deve impossessarci di noi. Only samurai okay. spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Summoning a spirit to possess the traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences. Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm, I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. I bet. <laughs> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now, it'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. Try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. Ok. E adesso? Aspetta, guarda, guarda che scena, questa la devo, la devo mettere. Chiudi gli occhi. Ma she's sitting inside the painting. Huh? Is that I'm seeing things? Did the painting just move? Ooh. 
recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Vorrei avere cazzo, vorrei avere cazzo. Questo è il mio wish. Eh? Ok, ok. A first hand guide to summoning spirits. Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. Okay. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? The painting is moving again! What the? Ooh. Guardate che faccia! Ok, traveler cattivo. Wow. No? I never thought the day would come when I'd be Ah, ma c'ha le tette lei. Guarda, guarda, si si Cleavage in Ok, va bene. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Certo è che fa everyone wishing for help with their writing. Fa strano vedere che il per che il traveler parla ma non con la sua voce. Almeno le potevano dare la voce sua. Cioè, Cristo santo mio. Io per... Ma fa... Ce l'hai la doppiatrice. È bravissima. Utilizza la porca di una miseria. Dai. Cioè, è veramente un peccato. Spoilers. Eh, sorry, beh. I'm, I'm praying the, the, the story quest. What's this? <laughs> che faccia? <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was oh, to use this cattivo. <laughs> as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to che make a glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war. What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. I sense, yes, great power within her. Ooh. Uh, guardate che occhi! Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> Pure la risata da cattivo. Wake up, quick, wake up, we gotta stop him. <laughs> It is futile. You shall never wake her again. This body now belongs to me. <laughs> hey, come on, wake up. Don't let him take your mind. Miko, think of something. Miko! Sono 10 minuti dopo che stai trascinando. Cosa? Cosa? Che cazzo stai facendo? Oh, Rakusa, you haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, are huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. <laughs> you were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Quindi alla fine non era cattivo. Nico, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? But isn't he a spirit? Ah, 
spirits, memories. They're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Questi ley lines nascondono 3000 robe. You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers, and even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it happened. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. <coughs> but with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world. Ah, I said, per days. farsi un giretto hai incluso. To do, they can go and get it done. Hai incluso questo incantesimo. Uh, but... She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw an external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. Mm. So when you think about it, uh, uh, we're actually right. doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. All right then, you finally convinced Paimon you guys were right. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Ooh. Mm, not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. <laughs> Sa, non è una che se la tiene al dito No, cazzo Ha aspettato secoli Per far avere la sua rivincita Oh, grazie per il follow, gente si, si vede anche il signor, il signor in albedo Abbiamo dovuto tornare dove siamo venuti in fine Tutti sono molto contenti in molti modi But they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> What? <laughs> Termini Don't che non you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> uh, dead di alveo, ciao e sono mare. Benvenuta nella stream, benvenuta nella stream. Nice non, non so da quanto stai vedendo, ma prima mi siamo fatti un sacco di risate per... So, per come Yae sta prendendo per il culo right. tutti quanti qua dentro, Goodbye, compreso me, quindi. One last thing, Miko. I just want non so to... se hai fatto la quest, you ma fa abbastanza ridere. I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but Già fatta questa quest. Ah, ok. No, io io l'ho aspettato un pochino per a farla, ma ne è valsa la pena perché cazzo 
è da tempo che non vi faccio tante risate con Genshin e stasera proprio. Hai pulato per gli per caso? Io sì. Cioè, non volevo prenderla. Vabbè, è capitato. <ride> Anche però capire di più su di A è dato che ce l'ho come PC. Ah, ecco, allora l'hai preso. Adesso parla il traveler. 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3. Oh, hai vinto me a farlo. Sembra che il So, your first possession, hm? What was it like? Beh, da, già che ci siamo, che build hai dato alla al signorina Iai? Vediamo un po'. L'ultima parte della quest è toccante per me. Vediamo. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold okay. when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hm? Come era la stessa cosa, mm, anche se ho trovato gli AI, dai, mettiamo il fidi, mi facciamo gli esempi e lo trovo giù. Già che ci siamo, se scrivi eh, punto esclamativo e poi tutto attaccato, re, de, con due e, m, eh, poi staccato, account review, puoi chiedermi la... è un comando che scende qua nello stream per chiedermi cosa ne penso di tutto il tuo account. Non so se funziona, ancora non li ho impostati per bene, però appare praticamente una gif su schermo eh, con il tuo nome e tutto il resto. E la madonna, presso il chest. Vediamo cosa ha da dire la signorina Yai. Che bella questa scena. Well, hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Huh. As if we had a choice. Di nulla. Poi non so se ti colleghi di solito a questo orario, ma io comincio le dirette eh, verso le nove, non a mezzanotte. Adesso ci sarà una scena bellissima. Okay. Vediamo. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. Oh. So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories Twitch. together ah. in one place. Okay. <laughs> When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied. And return to where they belong. Ok, andiamo avanti. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually. Beh, quella era una bella canzone, eh? anche se secondo me la quest di Raiden era veramente commovente. Cioè, tutte le volte in cui lei parlava del passato, wow, veramente fatta proprio bene. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time I need you to do two things. First, tell the shrine maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakiyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Perché ci per tutto. Vabbè, è bello essere sentimentali, no? Dai. After that, I will commence the ritual and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. Ma sì, ci sta, dai. Beh, alla fine il bello del gioco è anche questo, no? Se non se non provi nulla. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat. 
but when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. Okay, dobbiamo difendere la montagna. Alright, got it. Then what? Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting certo, a close up view of the yokai, Conta che però purtroppo non ti posso aggiungere negli amici perché non ho più spazio. Non so perché hanno messo questi 45 posti disponibili, cioè veramente è una scelta che veramente non condivido. Quindi al massimo eh, praticamente potrà invitarmi, credo, dalla funzione coop, però di aggiungersi negli amici purtroppo non lo posso fare. Ma sì, assolutamente. Guarda, io poi conosco gente che non solo è molto sentimentale, ma ci perde le ore nel teapot. Cioè, ho visto gente fare certe cose nella teapot che io nemmeno tra mille anni ci starei a perderci dietro. Ma non perché non mi piace, ma perché richiede veramente tanta pazienza. E io a malapena l'ho avuta per raggiungere il livello massimo. To send the mountain? Are those Lady Gucci's orders? Yep, Miku said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. I see. I'll evacuate everyone. Non so se, 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 se ti ricordi you? il mio. Nel mio ci sono tutte le statue, quelle là messe a casaccio. E una camera è completamente piena di quei, quei cosini là. Cioè. A mia, mia zica è il tipo tipo wow, ed è ancora in lavorazione. Vabbè. No, ma guarda, è una di quelle cose che ti ci puoi perdere la testa, perché è fatto proprio bene. Poi ogni tanto aggiungono quei mini giochi. Io l'altro giorno ho messo il, il giochino dove devi far scoppiare i palloncini. Guarda che non è per niente difficile, cioè non è per niente facile quello stabilire un record, eh? eh. A parte che è molto divertente. Poi se hai dei PG come Gagnu... Cioè, sì, esattamente, esattamente. Come in The Sims 4. Eh, se hai PG come Gagnu puoi barare tantissimo. Ma vabbè, non diciamo in giro che sennò la gente si arrabbia. Uh, aspetta, qua c'è un altro coso di Sakura. Uh, ok, da questa parte, sì. Che poi quanto è bella lei con le ali viola. Dai, diciamolo. Ma anche Raiden, eh? Non, non è l'unica. Allora, ce la facciamo a scendere in modo perpendicolare. Ok. Ok, non siamo esattamente perpendicolari, ma... Tra poco le sblocco anch'io, ma se non ci vuole niente, basta che fai le richieste alle bounties. Ok, finalmente. Ventimila, 34.000. No, me l'ha parato. Ok. Vediamo No, non è morto Devo pure per forza la è troppo figa eh, Conta che stai vedendo una Raiden fin troppo overpower qua eh e te lo dico io stesso. Cioè quella che tu vedi qua è proprio over the top. 
cioè non prenderla come riferimento non perché Raiden a C0 faccia schifo però questa è veramente over the top soprattutto se le dai Bennett se le dai una Sara C6 non so se metteranno Sara ma Sara C6 è fondamentale per aumentare il danno di qualsiasi personaggio elettro uh filmatino Che figata! Yes, the memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. Certo che in questa patch filmati veramente fighissimi, eh. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just Hyman's never seen anything like this before. Quindi sono tutti spiriti. Tutti abbiamo uno sfondo bianco. Che figata. Addirittura. Oh Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. In reverence I perform this right. In reverence I perform this right. Ma fate parlare anche lei. A guiding light. The book says, recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. Tutti i vari PG di Nazuma. Sì, sì, ci, ci uniamo anche noi, dai. Stiamo dando l'energia a Goku, praticamente. Non così, ma così. Your unrivaled power. Will be honored eternally. Murakusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Oh, si sente sola. Just a little, of course. Che bello, dai, proprio bello. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hmm? Oh, I'm great. <coughs> oh, mi But dimentico di andare avanti. But on your face just now. I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... No. Oh. Honestly, you two. <ride> che faccino Fine. Well, if you're dead, Ora sì che posso dormire. <ride> you can treat me to a meal. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. Okay. Well, see you soon then. Ah, ora dobbiamo aspettare fino al giorno dopo. Aspettiamo fino al giorno dopo. Siamo alle 5.30, va? Va bene, grazie per essere passata. Ok, io la porto a termine questa, però, eh. Se no... 
A parte perché poi volevo caricarla anche su YouTube, se no non ha neanche tanto senso. Let's go! Uh, ok, si trova qua. Manchi rimani fino alla fine. Eh, no, ma guarda, de devo streamarla per forza, perché sennò non posso metterla su YouTube. <ride> quindi non posso fermarmi. E poi credo che dopo di questa sia finita, quindi insomma. Neanche io voglio stare fino a tardi, eh. Oh, wait is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the miraculous adventures of the traveler not released yet? It was quite a surprise when the moonless night finally came. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Yeah. I guess like novels are just fiction after all, huh? Ah, minchia, l'hai scoperto solo ora. That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels, Fad. Still, something tells me the miraculous adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. Huh? Paimon can't see Miku anywhere. Guess she's not out here. Uh, maybe she went inside already. Let's head in and look for her. Comunque, a parte tutto, secondo me... Cioè, queste due quest sono veramente belle. Quella di Raiden è inarrivabile. Questo è poco ma sicuro. Eh, ma questa qui è veramente carina pure. Eh. Ah, oh, my little friends. There you are. Nico? What is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying after all. <laughs> the thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake. Ha ragione, tecnicamente ha ragione. Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. All righty. Okay, no, vabbè, ma ti stavo capito, ho capito. What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. Sembra disgustoso. No, dis sembra gustoso. And it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. <laughs> If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Ah, but... <laughs> Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Come si dice? Dalla mano si è preso tutto il braccio. Miko, questo meal è molto super expensive! Non ti afraid che non be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. I bet. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> Oh, by the way, oh, since nobody's wishes Volevo came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. Eh, sì, the ma dobbiamo andare a Sumeru per, uh, per farlo. Da, 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 da. No, no, gu guarda che carina sta scena. Che carina sta scena. Aspetta. Ok. Ah, e si è messo pure le mani così? Ok. Yeah, is not the way to expect it to be. Eh beh. <laughs> she, she is a very sassy character. And I like her a lot. No, comunque, che, che proprio, proprio la tempistica di questa cosa mi piace un casino. Aspetta. Vabbè, 
Posso alzarmi? Yes. Thank you for the meal. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Eh beh. Oh, did I mention? A saw that convocation ritual we performed over the Grand Narukami Shrine. Okay. I know she can be pig-headed, but it still took me by surprise when she wrote me a long and sternly worded letter about it, chastising me for taking this whole thing much too far. Allora, lei ha letteralmente detto so che può essere una testa di di maiale. What? Va vabbè. Oh, I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Everyone seemed perfectly happy to me. Always refining her craft. Vediamo che dice lui. Uh, no, niente di che. Vabbè, con questo direi che possiamo concludere, gente. È stato, è stato abbastanza divertente, dai, è stato abbastanza divertente.